Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I didn't expect this mic to be so loud. <laughs> uh, thank you, Litchfield Jazz, uh, Litchfield Jazz Arts, Litchfield Jazz Camp for having us. Um, such a great institution, support them in anything they do. Uh, they were here for us when we were about teenagers, young teenagers, and they're going to be here supporting lots of other young musicians making this happen and keeping the music alive. So thank them and also Telefunken, this amazing studio here. Uh, we're having a great time performing. I'm just gonna mention the band and um, continue on with some of the music. Uh, first, on timbales, we have um, one of the greatest musicians uh, to play the instrument. He plays drums as well as an amazing singer, has an incredible band himself called La Familia Sextet. Um, the wonderful one and only Willie Martinez. And that instrument is the timbales. They're vintage, as, as I imagine, right? 1949, that's a great year. I think of a lot of great records and recordings from that year. But, um, you know, Willie's an amazing musician, but you can hear a lot more from them uh, in, in a few minutes. But on congas, um, playing with us today, I know it's listed on the flyer that it's Camila Molina, which um, is an incredible percussionist. But we're also lucky to have with us one of the greatest percussionists, not too far away from us. Um, grew up in Bridgeport, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah, we're from Hartford, so we're, we're uh, kind of related regionally. Uh, but an amazing uh, percussionist that comes from a, a, a line of musicians. His father's a great guitar player, and his brother plays great bass and he's actually in Florida. He used to play with us many times. But um, this is Marcos Torres on Congas. And um, on bass, this usually when he's not playing with Eddie Palmieri and all of that nature, he then gets to play with us. And um, I mean, we've been playing uh, since we were young kids and growing up with programs like the Artist Collective and Litchfield Jazz Camp, a lot of, lot of great programs, so kind of know a lot of the same music, so it's easy to rehearse. <laughs> he didn't show up for rehearsal today, but it worked out. He knows the stuff. We'll find out. Luke has Curtis on bass. My name is Akai Curtis, and I'm trying, thank you, I'm trying to run through uh, music that extends all the way back to the 40s. In fact, this configuration you know, can be, you know, the roots of this configuration can be traced back to like people like Tito Puente and Nora Morales and Peruchin and a lot of great um, uh, musicians that we are actually uh, playing the music of. Started off with Scott Joplin's Maple Leaf Rag, kind of converted it uh, with an Afro Cuban sound because there's a lot of correlations between New Orleans and um, Afro Cuban music and as you'll see, our Caribbean music just in general. and. Um, you know, that, that rendition kind of points that out. And then we followed that up with two original compositions. One, um, you know, it's funny. I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. Am I supposed to be looking right here? <laughs> Is this again? <laughs> I'm like looking, I'm looking at the audience just to let everybody know, just in case I'm like staring off into space or something. Uh, I just don't see a camera there. <laughs> All right, so I don't know, I guess I'll look here. Um, okay, thank you. Um, that first tune was called Constellation. It's original composition. The second one is a tune that I wrote um, to pay homage to my piano hero, Bud Powell. Um, and we're going to do an, uh, another composition that he's known for, but written by Thelonious Monk. So that's enough of me talking. We're going to move forward into our, um, our Kubop suite, which we focus on a lot of bebop compositions. And um, we're going to start off with. We already played Earl. He said he's trying to mess me up. And this is going out live. I mean, you're there forever. No, this is Salt Peanuts. That's what we're going to play next, not Earl. We already played Earl. All right, this is Salt Peanuts by the great Dizzy Gillespie, one of the pioneers of this music. Um, you know, him and Chano Pozo are responsible for really getting this music out and having a lot of people hear it. So um, you can check out the original versions. What we're doing is we're taking those big band versions and we're condensing them into a quartet. So it's a lot of information. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. 
気分を取って<笑>伝えてくれてるうちの<笑><笑> Don't fire
That was Miner's Holiday, Kenny Dorham composition. And um, before we follow that up with uh, a Machito composition, so this is a great, great arrangement that he did live at the Crescendo, um, I'm, I just want to let you know, make a quick technical announcement. Um, for a cl uh, nice, clean sound, or probably the cleanest sound on the internet, uh, go on Facebook for tonight. So. That's, that's a little little tidbit there. That's right. It's, it's on everybody's page. It's on my page. It's on Luquez's page. It's on Litchfield's page. And I think it's on Truth Revolution Records page, which is um, the record label that we work with. Um, we just recorded the record. I, I shouldn't say I shouldn't have said just, but we recorded the record in 2019. And we didn't release it yet. It's it's actually um, a single should be coming out soon, but it'll be released early next year. And it's entitled Kubop Lives. That's the first time I announced the title of the record. So um, this next tune, uh, Cuban Fantasy, um, is a rendition of Machito's version of this Ray Bryant composition. Hope you enjoy it.
going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it down. <laughs> it's a hard set. And we're going we're to bring a guest on this tune. This, this tune, um, it, start, it, it you know, started as a Disney classic. It's your Someday My Prince Will Come. It's a pretty theme, so. And, and then we, what we did is we pasted a tune called Piel Canela on the end of it. It's a classic. So some of you might know it. So we're going to do that little, little connection um, before we go into the last tune of this kind of 1940s anthology. So this is our break. And we're going to start this tune with a drum intro.
Albert Rivera, saxophone, right here, man. Beautiful. All right. Now we're going to play a composition. The Thelonious Monk one that I told you about. I'm like pushing it down the set. I think the more I push it down the set, the more I'm going to realize that's a mistake. We're just going to do it. Um, this one, uh, I, I love this tune. And we kind of made our own arrangement uh, for the recording. And this is the arrangement for the recording. It's called 52nd Street Theme.
remember I told you um, about an hour ago that we played a tune? We didn't play it. <laughs> I said we played it, but we didn't play it. We're, this is it now. We're going we're gonna to do it. It's an original composition. It's called Earl. This is the one that I said was, was paying homage to the great Bud Powell. And I, I feel, you know, those musicians, um, Bud Powell, there's a lot of them. I'm just going to name a few just so you know the sound. Bud Powell, Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker, and Thelonious Monk. Um, you know, I feel like those musicians created a base for us. And it's, it's almost like, I, I, you know, it's hard. I'm not about to try to explain it, but... I mean, to even us that do this music and have done it in our entire lives, it's still magical, you know. You listen to music before those musicians and then afterwards, and they, they kind of really set a bar, not just a bar, but they create an entire platform to us, for us to build on. And, and Kubop, which is the, the style that we're, we're playing tonight, is actually one of the earliest builds on that music. And you're talking about um, mid to late 40s. So it's, it's actually been around for quite some time. And in, in essence, you know, it's something I feel is an important part to being uh, a musician. So this next tune um, I wrote for Bud Powell. And hopefully you enjoy Earl. It wasn't necessarily meant to be played in this configuration. It was just something that I wrote on the piano. So. This is the style that we're about to play is really developed from these musicians here. I don't think I even said how we were going to play this before the recording. So, all right, hope you enjoy it.
All right. The boss told me to start the Noro Suite. Um, this is a suite uh, we, we kind of generated to pay homage to the great Noro Morales. And this is like, like a four part. It was a three part. And then came a five part and then cut it down a little bit. So now it's a four part. And this is, um, I'm going to start with a tune called Oye Men. And then move to Stromboli. And um, it sounds like a dish. I'm not sure. <laughs> sounds like Italian food. Is it? It is. <laughs> I know I should know that, but I, I will. I'm not sure. It's okay. Gluten it's gluten free. <laughs> gluten free. I need that's because I'm gluten free. That's right. That's why I don't know what Stromboli is. I would have known. I'm not cultured. Gluten. I could tell you some gluten free though. Annie's, bro. Um, okay. Hit me. I'm a sponsor. Um, I'll be a sponsor. Okay. Then we go into Maria Cervantes. Um, and then we close it off with one called Humbambola. And Nora Morales, if you if you don't know who he is, you can Google him online. You're gonna get a, a wide variety of styles that he performed, that he kind of played. Some of them are very pianistic, and then others are, you know, jamming. They're hitting. So those are the ones that I love. So that's what we configured for our group. But in all actuality. That's the model. His group was the model. The timbales, congas, bongo, guiro, bass, and piano. That's kind of the model of this uh, particular quartet. Sometimes it's a quintet. So we want to thank you for joining us. And a uh, big shout out to Litchfield Jazz and um, to Telefunken. And to all of you in the audience sticking with us, joining um, us on this beautiful night. It's just amazing to play with these musicians. These are the best of the best. Once again, Willie Martinez on timbales. Marcos Torres on congas. And then Lucas Curtis on the bass. My name is Zakai Curtis. I want to thank you. Once again, the album's coming out uh, very soon. Look for that hashtag, Kubop Lives. And uh, hopefully we see you at some of our live concerts. Thank you very much.
right, another round of applause. Willie, Willie, Marcos, Lucas Curtis. I turned around, I shouldn't have. Zakai Curtis on piano. 